Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Arsene 4 Kaiserreich as the Netherlands. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're still in our um, revolutionary uh, government because, again, I mean, Germany didn't invade us. So I guess that's nice uh, for now. We're still doing our third national assembly, which should be done in like five months or something like that. Uh, still 161 days, which is, yeah, like five months, a little bit more than five months. So once that is done, again, we're going to try to either go for the RSAP uh, or the NAS, because we really want to get that extra 2% recruited population, which is going to put us at just even limited conscription to a maximum of 9.5%, which I would say is pretty good. Republicans have won the Greek referendum. Congratulations to them on their hard-earned victory. I mean, we could also theoretically go for a unit of military, or even army reform, but I don't think army reform is really what we would want. Because you're, you're just army experience, which is kind of, I think, just bad, honestly. Mother population, I've never thought was a good um, modifier here. I really think, just also 20% because we're a good factory is just incredible. Um, which I think is just forever. The transitions of our economy is going to really, really hamper us for an entire year. Which is not great, but I think everything here has that same penalty. Um, so, like, what what can you do about that, really? I mean, construction speed, product efficiency cap, factory output minus 65%. All of those are really, really bad. So we really want to focus as much as we can on just building everything up. You know, like, what we possibly can. We're seeing 4.2 thousand rifles. So you want to take off two of these infantry. We're now seeing 1.5k, because if our... Factories are going to take a massive penalty for like an entire year. And uh, the war is going to end in... L or, not the, the world, the um... The second military is going to begin in probably about a year from now. We're, we're going to be having some difficulties, uh, to say the least. We're still waiting for Italy to take our two Sicilies. They should hopefully get that front finished. It is going to mean that Austria is going to almost inevitably join the war at the onset. And what did you guys do? You're still guaranteed by the Germans, but that could easily change in the future. We'll see if we join the Reich's Pact, or if Germany just gives up their claims here, and Russia gets some more territory. Which will help us out. For sure, 100%. You put you on the Reich's Pact, that shouldn't matter too much. The CSA is doing pretty, pretty well. The Canadians, I don't think, have gotten involved, and I don't think they will get involved. At least not quite yet. Fault of Shenyang. Uh, Ching Soldier finally came to Defenders, so where is that? Yeah, so actually, Ching's doing pretty well against the Fenians. Um, they are still backed by the Japanese, so I would not be surprised if Japan enters the war fairly soon. It's right now, you got the United Provinces of China here. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if they all end up joining up the, with the, um... Chinese United Front once Japan actually gets involved very, very soon. So the Prime Secretary of the Economy. The Third National Assembly is now electing the Earned Secretary to Economy of the Bahani Commune, who will be in charge of the dep uh, Department of Economics. Again, the factions have been put forward to the candidates, and again, it will probably be in the hands of the independents. The National Assembly decide who will stand on top. So, again, we really want either the NAS, which is Research Speed plus 1%. Nuclear Reactor kind of is garbage. I think just the factory construction speed, even though it's not incredibly great. It's probably better than the Nuclear Reactor modifier. Prox efficiency cap goes up a little bit, wouldn't be too bad either. Eh, yeah, no, I think we're going to go for the RSAP. Just because they're going to be ever so slightly better for us in the long run. I mean, 1% research speed isn't bad. And like, the construction for the nuclear reactors also isn't bad because they are expensive. But that's at least a 1943 tech. Which is so far away in the future that it's not even worth considering right now. The Pacific States and the American Union State have offered a ceasefire. So you're doing new home of the free. Have you... I mean, we know they've at least done this. Depends on how far down this street they've kind of gone for, though. I'm not, not too, too sure. This is Queen's Day. Before the revolution, there would be a, this would have been Queen's Day, the birthday of the Queen. As a result, reactionaries and other royalists come are causing all kinds of trouble. Range from openly celebrating the Queen's birthday to actual riots and demonstrations in favor of restoration of the monarchy. So we're going to lose some political power. We're going to lose a little bit more stability. Our stability is just absolutely in the garbage right now at a uh, lovely 11%. 
the Prince Federation has been annexed. The Vietnam of India is looking pretty powerful here, but again, we do want the Party of Commune to come out on top. But with a Dominion this strong, that could definitely be unlikely to happen, let's just say. Oh yeah, we still have our one troop that's in Spain. Uh, of course, we're not going to send him over to the front lines. It makes absolutely no sense for us to do it that way. And I can't send volunteers to you anymore, even though it probably would be uh, beneficial. I don't think CNT is going to end up winning their war. It seems fairly unlikely. Uh, given the fact that the Kingdom of Spain is already pushing their way up through the Carlist and have taken over most of the southern uh, coast down here as well. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see. But I really don't think it's going to happen. We'll also assign you in charge of that fleet. The tank and infantry divisions are soon going to be ready to deploy. Do you have all the equipment you need or are you still missing rifles? It's really is just rifles, which isn't too, too bad. And in Seleucia, it's going to war on the Dutchies Indies. So it's a good thing, I guess, that we did not choose to play as the Dutchies Indies. Because now they're having an open rebellion in the colonies. Fantastic for them. We'll see how they actually end up doing here. Because, I mean, you're still in the Reich's Pact. So I wouldn't be surprised if in Seleucia ends up being at war with the entire faction. Yeah, because your colonial government, which is 90% of the recruited population in Malice. Which is pretty significant, I would say. So we still have decisions available. We can improve working conditions to give us a little bit more stability, which wouldn't be bad. We're hunting political power, though. I mean, what else would I want? Chief of Staff, probably, but they're 150. And we have about a year. You know what? Yeah, let's just do it. Let's improve working conditions for now. And Prime Secretary of Internal Affairs. Now the National Assembly is electing the Ernst Secretary der Intern Second, depending on who will be appointed, the new system of justice will be shaped. The higher line, line of security's position, freedom of the commune might be jeopardized. So, again, we're really look, just looking at the NAS, who it currently has resource gain efficiency, which is not great, honestly. Or just a plus 2% stability and political power gain. We're definitely going to go for the RSAP. Going to be better for us. We will infiltrate civilian economy in Germany, but I... Yeah, apparently I compare, even if you're in jail, apparently that's not a, a big concern of ours. And unfortunately, I can't dismiss you. I mean, I can probably try to capture you. We have 193s to prepare. Can I free my friend? Make resistance contacts. Apparently not. So, we'll see if... Because you're done in 193 days. You're going to be executed in 189 days. So, I'm going to take a guess and say that's probably not going to succeed. So let's try instead, actually, to um, do this. Commence when ready. We also need to target a state. Uh, yeah, let's target these territories here. Okay, no, the, ga the game does understand that I uh, one of those guys are in jail. So I guess we're just gonna wait for him to die. Again, like, I don't think there's a way for me to actually... ...delete him. Like, I, I can't... I just want you to die. Like, I'm not here to actually save you at all. I know that sounds maybe a little bit harsh, but it's the honest to goodness truth. I don't care whether or not you uh, you live or die in this uh, war. Or I guess in this uh, the spy... Whatever you want to call it. And there's a lot of German troops on our border. What I might want to do is start preparing more defenses on our border. If you're level 1, 4, congratulations, being upgraded to at least a level 2. You don't even have a 4 in you at all. Which is a little bit worrying. We do have a special project. The operations. Yeah, no, can I cancel this? Yeah, please cancel that so I can use it to construct you. Apparently no, but still not, uh... Yeah, refund both of these. Because we actually can't do any of those operations for now. But I still don't have... I need to not trade something. But I still need more steel. So, I mean, we're not in a great spot economically. I, I will say that. You know, I'm not going to beat around the bush when it comes to uh, that situation. But what we might want to do is, when the war begins, try to push out from, let's say, this area here. Straight to the French line. So, France can start sending troops up towards uh, the Netherlands. Having Britain also send some units down here would be uh, beneficial. Norway, I think, stands absolutely no chance of survival. Because the Reichspact, 
Should I think include Denmark? Okay, no, it doesn't include Denmark quite yet, but the Reichsback's looking pretty powerful, unfortunately. You are still backed by the Germans, so... Russia probably is not going to intervene in the Donald Kuban Union quite yet. But I think they will soon, which is nice. Okay, you're not in a faction, but hopefully you'll join up with the Internationale soon. Again, this is a nice counterbalance to uh, Brazil here. You have gone totalist, which is unfortunate because I think that might lead to a war with Chile, which is not what I want. Okay, so I got our tank division here. Like, I would like to make this push, but I think it's very... It's going to be tricky, so we'll put you onto this front for now. As far north, because we probably want to take Williamshaven a little bit faster. Like, to me, that seems okay. You know, take this out to Samantha Union Division, go towards Williamshaven, have another port, so at least that, uh, one, it slows down German supplies, I think, ever so slightly, and two, might allow the British to send more units down here. And actually, it might allow us to transfer this territory to the Brits uh, themselves, which should allow them to bring more troops into this region. Which would be nice. Italy is not doing as well as I would like. They're getting a lot of volunteers from the Internationale, which is not a surprise. And another agent's been captured. Both of our agents have been captured, really? But you're both in jail. So I'm not too sure what you want me to do about that. Chairman of the Volksrad. Now, all members of Volksrad have been appointed. Only one position has not been given away. Chairman of the Volksrad. The government of the Bahadine Commune, le leading to the Chairman of the Volksrad. The leaders of each faction have already announced their candidacy. So, again, we're looking for either the NAS or the RRSP. NAS is political power gain and 8% factory output, which is quite nice. Or political power gain. 0.5 factory output. You're also 0.5 or factory output. You're basically the exact same. You are stability and war support. You are political power. Hey, you're actually not very really good. So I think because we've already gone for mostly our, 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 our SAP, we'll probably just go for them. Seems fine. They got 66% of those votes, so I'm pretty sure they're probably uh, more than likely going to win the election. The Romans have capitulated. We should hopefully at least get a handful of the troops off of the Italian front. CNT, if you guys want to just kind of fight for as long as humanly possible, I would appreciate that. Do you not go to this province? Because there, there should be two in each. Which is what we probably want more than anything else. Still no construction here. So we got to rush our way down to that negative 20% consumer good factory, which is like really good. Like it's actually incredible. Especially if you can finish this right away. Like, 20, not, minus 20% consumer goods and the 2% recruit population. It just makes this the best tree, I think. Sure, you will not be able to suppress reactionary ideas or ban capitalist thought, which is another 10% stability, but I really don't think that's necessary at all. So you'll be ready in another... about 24 days. So about one more month. Around Christmas time, actually, the... Uh, Everything here will be resolved, which is nice. And we'll be able to join up the Internationale in a few, like a month and a half from now. But the question is, do I want to join the Internationale? At least right now, there is a lot, I mean, there's a lot of German troops on our border. Which does worry me, uh, for sure. So what we might want to do is wait until the second Wild Creek actually begins. Follow Botvia, these indies. Uh, apparently you're kind of faltering. Are you at war with them? You are. Because you're at war with the entirety of the faction. And you're well, you are doing pretty good, so we'll kind of see how that turns out for you. But what you might want to do is, one, wait out until the... Yeah, Japan's declared war on China. Probably wait until the Second Vill Creek begins. Germany will take all of their troops off of our borders onto either the French border or the Russians, depending on if they get involved uh, sooner rather than later. And when that happens, they should hopefully take these troops away, which will allow us to make some moves into Germany proper. Again, it would be really nice, of course, for us to take over the lowlands, reconnect France and our territories together. Atomic research, I mean, it's like a year ahead of time, so I think we really don't want to worry about that. But go for... A little bit more defense for right now. I'm going to send you to this front. 
I think for the most part, our borders should be okay in the terms of their defense. The thing is, though, that there is, of course, a lot of German troops. They have probably, probably about 150 divisions, which is a ton. Way more than France has at this point. So the RSAP gains a majority. Hank Schivet left the National Assembly today and announced that the RSAP gained a majority in the Volksrad, executive organ of the Bahadine Commune, owing to their support from the National Assembly. Senate also announced that the Volksrad has expressed a trust in him at the First Council pre uh, Presidency of a New Nation. So we have a nice 76% party popularity. We've got this guy in charge. It's always, I think you actually just get bypassed automatically. Yes, fantastic. We'll then go for the Dutch militias. So it's just by far the best option we have. And you know what? You go for the soft attack for all leg infantry plus 5%. A little bit of attack, a little bit of defense. Never hurt anybody. I mean, depending, I guess, on who you ask. I mean, it's not hurting us, which is all I really care about. The Urtrick St Central Station Fire. The Central Station of Utrecht has caught in fire, resulting in destruction of the entire upper floor. The investigation by the authorities have concluded that the tragedy was likely caused by electrical failure, and thus was not a result of foul play. Already, the press is demanding an official statement in print by tomorrow's newspaper. Yeah, just telling the truth. I'm assuming, depending on who you choose for the elections, like maybe if you chose a totalist, you can uh, blame it on some other faction. Wouldn't be too surprised if that's the case, but as the RSAP, we do just uh, are just gonna be telling them the truth. We do want more steel, but the steel right now is not going towards the submarines, and really, that's fine. The rubber would be nice um, as a nice secondary, but we're only missing three, so it's probably not worth even importing anything right now. Germany, do you really need this many? I, I know that I destroyed your one ally in the region. Not by my own, like, by accident. Let, let's just be clear here. But I think this many troops on our border might be a little bit overkill. Uh, decision available. We're not going to join the international quite yet. I, I think it's way too risky. And my plan of joining the international at the very last moment... Always works, because the AI cannot prepare for it. And I'm, I'm okay cheesing the AI a little bit uh, when it comes to having... I mean, right now, we are surrounded. You know, like, this is Reich's Pact, that's Reich's Pact, you'll be Reich's Pact. This, for sure, is going to turn into the Reich's Pact once Sweden and Finland actually destroy the Norwegians. They have no chance in the north. So, you know, I think I'm taking every possible measure to make sure I don't get absolutely steamrolled by the Germans when the time comes. Yes, you guys. We're hoping that um, Spain does end up choosing a more um, neutral foreign policy. It's definitely going to help us the most in that regard. And Delusia is doing pretty well. They might actually end up winning their war sooner rather than later. It depends on how close um, they are to capitulating. They got 36%. Which is not so, so bad. And again, Japan is at war with... A decent chunk of China, the League of uh, East Chinese Provinces, has not joined any side. You're part of defending government as well. So we got our extra population. Let's go for the negative 20% for consumer factories, which should allow us to start building up these um, defensive structures for a little bit. Of course, we're going to be in a horrible position for like an entire year. But actually, it's a negative 20% construction speed penalty as well. So not great. I, I, not, none of this is really what we want it to be at right now. But it will remove the national spirit ec economic recovery. Which is EU. So it's going to give us a little bit of a bonus. Because it's a negative 20. It's a negative 70. But we're getting a plus 20% back. So I guess it's not as bad. Factory output is negative 65. But then this is getting removed. It's actually a negative 55. Stability is actually negative 15. And the cap is only actually negative 20. So it's not as bad as this makes it out to appear. It's still garbage. Like, we, we still don't want that penalty for an entire year. But at the same time, it's like, what choice do I have? I have no I have no choice at all. Two carry divisions, though, right here. Like, this is going to be a nice area for us to attack into. I'm going to send one of you up to here. 
I think it's going to be much more important for you to have a nice push, again, towards William Haven, towards Bremen, and even taking that Camburg and Kiel, cutting this area off from uh, the rest of Germany. Because if we can get Germany to be cut off from outside supplies, that probably does mean something in the long run. Philippines and the Siamese have joined up with the Japanese. So we'll kind of see how that plays out in the future. You also have War with the League of Eight Provinces. I'm not too sure why exactly. The Galatian cities, again, are just still under American influence, but I wouldn't be surprised if they kind of, um... I mean, the CSA, once American Union States is dead, the Pacific States really aren't going to be of any problems at all. So we can either tolerate or embargo German trade. I think it makes much more sense for us to probably embargo them. We can declare neutrality, but of course we have absolutely no reason to do that. Because we can't do any of this stuff. We can still get the military tax, but kind of eh about that, honestly. So let's embargo German trade. And when is when is this modifier going to go away? February 26, 1940. I mean, because theoretically you just stay out of the war until 1940, but I really don't think that's a reasonable um, choice for us to make. And are you the best? Are you the best general we have? Is really a two. You probably are the best general, which is an, uh, a little bit of a shame. So what I'm going to do right now is because we have enough equipment, I'm going to exercise my army for at least a few months. I think it should also get you to be a little bit more skilled as well as a uh, as a general. What am I not clicking? Oh, I don't know that. Okay, so that's fine. Maybe a lot of generals, but like again, they're all basically garbage. We do a one, two, two, which we could maybe assign. We can promote you, but you're the one to charge this army, I think, because you are the infantry leader, which is not bad. Oh, I know. I want to details about you. Does this actually get your? Needs to generate 500 experience to get it to the next level. So no, apparently actually training does not get you the experience that we need. If we can get some of these troops to be elite status by the time of the war, that would be nice. That's going to be a nice uh, plus 25 attack and defense boost. Which we can use against the Germans. We can even see like, some of these German infantry divisions. Actually, one of them's only at half strength. Which is nice. We do really need the, the Russians to attack as well. Because Russia, honestly, hasn't been performing extremely well recently in, in a bunch of past campaigns. They just only train up as many troops as you would expect, you know, like, Russia to have. Apparently, the Irish have a cost of belly against the British, though. I'm not too sure what it would be. A little bit. Like, what do you want to take? Probably the Isle of Man? No. I'm not too sure actually why you would have a Costas Belly here. That's a little bit strange. But I do think that at least for right now is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. Not doing it, always thumbs down. You want to subscribe and goodbye.